Hi! Today I'm going to review the Fiddler Man Soloist Violin. I've had it for a little less than a year right now, but I've only been playing really for about six months. Took a small hiatus, getting married and all. But since I've got the time now, I wanted to show how it all comes and some of the extras that I got with it. Um, this here is the case. It's a really nice case, a lot better than some of the cheaper brands and it has really nice magnetic fasteners as well as a uh, lock right in there. It zips on both sides which I've already unzipped. It comes in three different colors I believe. Red, blue, and green. Uh, this here of course is the green. It's very rich and kind of has a Celtic feel to it which is good uh, for that genre of music. And I've ordered a second carbon fiber bow, so mine's currently housing two. The one I actually use I keep up top. I love the carbon fiber bows. They're really strong, really resilient. Um, they play really nicely, and they're pretty light. And they snap in very comfortably into the case, no problem. It's got a humidity reader and temperature gauge all inside as well. Also comes with a little case here for extra strings. The strings I had it outfitted with are the Zyx strings. Uh, and I got a second set here. There's plenty of compartments to hold all of your extra stuff. This is one of the extras that I ended up getting. It's the Bon Musica Violin Rest. I really, really recommend this shoulder rest. Uh, it's adjustable and it customizes to your shoulder and fits very nicely. I've also got the premium Holstein rosin. Clearly I've used it <laughs> a good deal. Um, I really enjoy this rosin. It makes just the hair and all grip the strings really well. And it just feels nice to play. I got the Snark, a uh, little $10 tuner. It works very nicely. It clamps on uh, to the violin. Doesn't scuff it or hurt it at all. Um, and it, it works really nice, especially for the price. Uh, Fiddler Man's really good with just about anything that you buy. They send you these nice little cloths. Uh, it's good for wiping the rosin off and for general cleaning. They come, of course, with a nice cover to protect your violin from any of the rosined bows. This here is my baby. It comes with this silk slipcase. I really don't use it a whole lot, so instead I just keep it down here as a nice little cushion. <laughs> but I really love it, this particular violin. Uh, it's just beautiful. The pickup on it, uh, I installed it. It's a Barkus Berry piezoelectric pickup. Works flawlessly. I've also got the Impressionist chin rest molded onto it, and I've got the original chin rest on there being the ebony wood chin rest. So all of that makes the fit and feel exceedingly comfortable and custom, especially with the Bon Musica shoulder rest. We've got the ebony uh, tuning pegs. I also got fine tuners on all of the strings. Uh, most of the higher end violins uh, only come with one on the E string, which most people that play probably already know, but for anybody that's new, it helps to have all of them just so you can fine tune it without always having to fight with the pegs. I've actually not had any trouble when I've adjusted with the pegs on this. It does it very nicely, very smooth, uh, locks down pretty well, and especially once you get the, the actual strings broken. Breaking them in takes a little time with most things, but it's really nice. You can see the flamed maple on the back of the violin. Very beautiful, single body. And it sounds fantastic. Uh, there's a second compartment that you can put stuff in on the back side here. I've got another one of the cloths. I also keep a small screwdriver uh, for my Barkus Berry pickup and also uh, one of the tools to remove or adjust any of the fittings on here from the chin rest to the pickup itself in case I need to take it off for whatever reason or adjust anything.
So yeah, that's the Fiddler Man soloist violin.